Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, after finished video, I will share project files for download. So first, let's create composition settings. Right mouse. Let's click composition settings. Change this full HD. Click OK and select this image, press S, change scale. OK, and let's make masking. Go to pen tool and let's make mask. OK, friends, after finish masking, let's click selection tool and then let's create new solid. Add the name background, click OK, move to behind, go to FX presets, search effect gradient ramp, select this gradient ramp effect, let's use for this background, and let's go to start color, let's change to like this, click OK, and change ramp shape, radial ramp, OK, let's change pins like this, and click swap colors. Nice. Let's change in color a little bit to white. Okay. So select this image and press S, change scale like this. Okay, that's good. So right now let's select this image and go to FX presses, search effect optic and select this optics compensation effect. Let's use for this image. Change field 50 and click this checkbox. Nice. Then we can change view center like this. Okay, nice. So let's change like this and make new view keyframe. Press U for C keyframes and go to 5 seconds. Press N for select work area and change view center like this. Okay, let's animation. Okay, not bad. We can change more we center like this. And let's press S, change scale again a little bit like this. Let's say again. Okay, nice. Not bad. So in this time, let's add light. Let's right mouse, new and light. Select light type point. Click OK. Click OK again. Then select this background and image. Click this icon for 3D layer. Nice. And select this light. Let's move to right. Let's see. Okay. We can change light with this arrow. And let's press P. Make new passing keyframe. And go to here. Last second. And move to right. Light position. Let's see. Okay, let's change quality quarter. Okay, very nice. And in this time, let's create new camera. Click OK. And select camera, right mouse, go to camera, and create orbit null for control camera movement. For move to anchor point center, hold control, double click palm behind the icon. Nice, click session two. And let's press P, make new passing keyframe, go to last second, and let's zoom to object like this. Let's see. Okay, nice. Let's select this image, go to again FX control, and we can change field more. Let's change for sphere version. And let's see. Okay, that's very good. Nice. So let's back to project and select this other image, move to inside for create new composition, and right mouse, composition settings, change full HD, click OK, and press S, change image size, and let's make masking for this object.
Okay, nice. And after masking, let's create new background. I will use this background. Let's control C back to here, control V. And let's close 3D. So select this image and let's use again optics. Okay, change field like this. Let's press S, change scale, make scale tree frame and go to 7 second, press N and change scale like this. Let's see. Okay, and go to first second, make field tree frame, go to last tree frame, change field 0. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Let's change quality quarter. Okay, in this time we can change view center like this. And let's make view center change like this. Go to last keyframe and change view center to left. Okay, nice. So in this time, go to first second. Go to shape layers and select ellipse tool. Let's make shadow. Clearization tool. Go to stroke change zero. Go to fill. Select this background color and change to dark for shadow. And hold control and double click palm behind for move anchor point center. Change name shadow. Then select the shadow, let's link to image and let's move to here. Right now let's enable title action save, select this image and let's move the center like this. Okay, let's see. Nice. Let's move to down a little bit. Okay, not bad. So in this time, go to FX presses, search FX sweep color, select the CC light sweep. Let's use for this image and move to the right this point. And in this time, make center keyframe. Go to here and chain sweep like this. Let's see. Nice. So let's change sweep settings, change quality full, and change width like this, and sweep intensity, and edge intensity. This part. Okay. And change other settings. Okay, change light color. Let's change a little bit yellow. Let's see. Nice. Okay, let's see animation. Okay, not bad. So, let's set the shadow and delete. Go to back. And let's create new solid layer. Add the name shadow. And go to circle mask. Let's make mask like this. Clearization tool. And move to anchor point center. And move to down. Go to FX presses search FX fill. Use fill. And select our dropper effect. Select this background color. Change to dark. And let's make feather. Select this mask. Open mask 1. Change mask feather. Change more. Nice. And select shadow. Let's link to image. Okay, nice. So then go to FX presses, search FX grid, and select this background. Let's control D, delete gradient ramp, add name grid, and let's use grid from generate. 
okay and change sides from width slider change slider like this and change opacity then select this mask and change color with eyedropper change a little bit like this click ok then let's select this grid right mouse precoms and click this checkbox add name grid background click ok then go to mask let's masking like this click checkbox and open mask one change feather okay let's change mask expansion okay so in this time let's make mask expansion keyframe go to here and change expansion like this let's see nice So thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.